Hi there, so this video is to help you get started using the online homework system Mastering Physics. Uh, so to use Mastering Physics for this course you need two things. You need a Mastering Physics account and you need the, the code for this course uh, which changes from semester to semester as MPPHY uh, etc. But uh, the code is listed in the comment section of this video uh, down below and uh, also it's in the course syllabus. So keep in mind if you have set up a Mastering Physics account in the past, in the last two years, it should still be valid. If your account's a little older and you can't log in, come and see me and I can have our uh, Xing Xing and we can have the account extended, extended for you. You should only have to buy Mastering Physics once in your lifetime. If you do not yet have an account on Mastering Physics, you have to create it, and this is not free. So in order to do that, you must first purchase an access code, which comes free with a new textbook. Uh, so for example, you went and you bought uh, Wolfson Essential University Physics. Uh, it was shrink wrapped. When you took off the shrink wrap, hopefully you should have found a little card that looks something like this inside that says Pearson. When you open it up, you uh, view the access code, you peel it back, and you get something that looks like that. It's a whole big string of uh, letters that you're going to have to type in. And that's worth 50 bucks. If you bought a used textbook, you can buy an access code uh, for $50. So let's go online right now and set up our Mastering Physics account for the first time. So open up your favorite browser and type www.masteringphysics.com. If you're already registered, here you can click Sign In, but if you're new, you click Student Register Now. Uh, click Register, which already works there. Now you have to scroll down and click In US or Canada. Yes, you have a course ID, and here is where you type the course ID, which I've given you in the syllabus. Uh, it's also listed in the comment section down below. Then click Next. Yes, I have an access code. Click Next. You scroll down, uh, we can read through this, and click Accept. Do you have a Pearson Education account? Click No. Uh, create a login name, which it's good to use your uToronto email address. It's easy to remember. Create a password. It has to have at least eight characters with a capital letter and a number. Uh, that worked. Next step, enter in that great big UX, uh, access code, which is a bunch of capital letters. Click Next. Next, I need your first name and last name. Use your Rosie name, please. Uh, enter in your email address that you're going to check. Uh, country is Canada, province is Ontario. It's University of Toronto, St. George. Answer this dumb security question. Click Next. And now you're ready to log in. Uh, yes, you received a course ID from your instructor. Please enter your student number, U Toronto student number. Uh, and now you're in, and you should be able to see a list of assignments there. The first assignment, uh, there's introduction, and then there's a, the first assignment for marks is pre-class two, or class two pre-class quiz. Uh, that's due before the second class. And the first question is, what is the name of one other student in the course? 